Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for Virgo. Let's see what's going on, Virgo. All right, I do want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all your subscribes. They're all so, so greatly appreciated, guys. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, okay? All right, let's get into this. Show me Holy Spirit. Show me what I need to see for Virgo. Show me what I need to see for Virgo. Oh, we have abundance right, right out the door. Then we have nourishment, guys. All right, so we have a lot of abundance coming your way. I see some of you guys taking care of yourself. You're definitely definitely looking good. Your prosperity is up. Some of you guys, you're eating better, taking better care of yourself. Some of you guys are getting grounded. You're definitely spending more time out in nature. That's some of you guys. Some of you guys, spirit is saying that you need to. Some of you guys, spirit is saying that you do need to get out in nature and get grounded. Look at that. We have resilience. You're still uh, carrying the weight of the world, though. There's still some of you guys that can't tell people no. There's still some of you guys that's not eating properly, exercising, taking care of your body. You only have one body, guys. We have surrender. All right. So there's still some of you guys, bottom of the deck, we have will. Surrender. Spirit is saying that you do need to surrender your will to the divine. Why? Because there's something here that the divine is working on for you. It's something here that you have been manifesting. But there's some of you guys that are not wanting to surrender control you're still trying to control the divine you're still trying to control how things will move forward but some things are out of your control and that's what the divine wants you to come to understand i definitely have here with nourishment there's some of you guys that is not you're not taking care of yourself you're overeating not exercising um not eating the right things for some of you guys, it's something simple, whereas if you could change your dietary habits, that can definitely significantly help you. Some of you guys, you definitely need to focus on your health. For some of you guys, you have not been focusing on your health. I'm definitely getting that. For some of you guys, yes, you are taking care of yourself. You will know. The thing about it is you will know who I'm talking to in whichever statement I say. There's some of you guys that are taking care of yourself whereas you are changing your eating habits you're exercising you're getting out in nature to get grounded okay so we have that's a group of you guys but we also have a group of you guys who are not and you do need to okay we definitely have some abundance coming your way we definitely have some abundance coming your way some of you guys you will be going on some type of spiritual trip i'm definitely getting that in your energy but for some of you guys you're still holding on to excessive baggage i'm definitely getting that and you know what it is it is it, it's actually it's an obstacle for you it's holding you back from the life that the divine is trying to serve on to you that's what i'm getting into the energy here you're definitely holding on to stuff that is that just no longer serves you and i feel like that's a part of life i do feel like that's a part of life we're going to always hold on to something that we really and truly should let go of but you do need to find a happy medium okay i'm not saying that you're going to be changing overnight as to whether you're going to hold on to something or you're going to let it go but the divine is saying that you need to find some type of balance that's definitely what you need to find some type of balance because while eventually you're going to build a resilience the more the more stuff you take on the more you will yes build a resilience but the thing about it is eventually your back is going to break or it's gonna hurt it's gonna ache you know in time that wear and tear 
you're gonna that's gonna that wear and tear will be permanent in time okay some of you guys you definitely do need to surrender your will to the divine you definitely need to because you know what the thing about it is you have been manifesting so it's one of those things okay you pray about it and you leave it in god's hands you don't pray about it and talk to God and, and, and fuss with God every day because, okay, God, why hasn't it happened? Why hasn't it happened? God says it's in divine timing. So you have to surrender your will, surrender control. You can't control what it is that God has to offer you. It's not about what you want or in your time. It's in God's time. All right, guys, let's get into this. So let's see what's going on with your abundance. going to clarify each one separately all right let's clarify abundance for virgo let's clarify abundance for virgo all right it's coming huh we have the ace of cups in reverse and we have the chariot you have money coming your way Actually, you could have a person coming into your life that's going to offer you some money. But I'm getting a feeling like you're not. Because see here, we have this Ace of Cups. But we also have the Chariot here. So we have some, we have abundance coming your way. I'm getting it. I'm getting this feeling that you, that someone's going to come in and they're going to come in and offer you money but i don't know why i'm getting a feeling that you're not gonna want to accept it though what is this what is this so you definitely have money coming in but the way that it's coming in are from whom the source the source is the issue the source is the issue for you virgo Let's see what's going on here. That wanted to flip out seriously. Queen of Cups. This is somebody that wants, that loves you. Somebody that loves you is coming in with money. Hmm. King of Cups. Yeah, but it's somebody, yeah, there's, 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 <laughs> This person wants a relationship with you. And the King of Cups actually came out in the reverse. There's the strings attached. And you are the Queen of Pentacles. You got your own money. You got your own money. That's what this is. Mm-hmm. The world. So you have somebody from your past, somebody that you've ended cycles with. They're coming in. And because and they're coming in with an offer, with a gift. Of, of abundance I'm definitely getting that this person has this is definitely a past relationship definitely a past relationship because we have the queen of cups and the king of cups the queen of cups is upright that's somebody that has some strong emotions for you this is somebody that loves you but you see the ace of cups came out in the reverse this is this person wants a new beginning with you that's what they're coming in for to offer you love and to offer you financial abundance yes but this person is the king of cups their emotions are all over the place this person can be quite ugly and manipulative and you know that and you're like nah i'm good i have my own okay that's definitely what i'm getting here hmm anything else Anything else? Hmm. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. This person. This person wants to do life with you. This person wants to do have a business with you. This person wants to have a family with you. You are this person's. Hmm. This is definitely a past person that wants to come in. They want to be in a relationship with you. Yeah. And they they see their abundance with you. They see their they, they see that their life is more valuable with you. 
Okay. All right. Let's see what this nourishment is. All right, Holy Spirit. Let's clarify nourishment for Virgo. So we have the Ace of Wands that came out in the reverse. Somebody's not taking care of themselves. We have the Five of Cups. Hmm. We have the Eight of Cups. Wow. And we have the Knight of Cups. All right. So what I'm getting in your in what I'm instantly what I got and look death. Instantly what I got here is that somebody is actually not taking care of themselves and I'm actually getting it more so it could be somebody that you're in a relationship with. I'm definitely getting that and there's going to be health issues. Somebody somebody whether it's you or the person in your energy for some of you guys the person that you walked away from could have some type of health issues okay hmm it is somebody that you care about virgo that's having some type of health issues hmm there, de there definitely needs to be a change there's definitely here with the death we have the death and we have the will and then we have the ace of swords yeah Somebody needs to come to the conclusion that if they want to live a nice and healthy life, they're going to have to take care of the body that they are living in. Okay, because you only have one body. All right. But here also with nourishment, I'm definitely getting someone wanting something new to occur. And they're looking at all that they've lost and they're very sad about it here with the eight of, eight of cups they're walking away from it or it's walked away from them but there's still some some emo okay so definitely for somebody here this is this can also be a relationship that was not that was lacking that this person whether it's your energy or the person within your energy they are seeing that they should have nourished this relationship more they should have applied more work into this relationship they should have actually cared more about the relationship and they're very sad about it they're definitely very sad that they, 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 they don't have it anymore they want they want I'm definitely getting that this person wants wants the relationship that is now over and done the cycle is done and the person has realized that the person is moving on. They're definitely walking away. They're moving on. They're walking away very sad. I'm definitely getting that in the energy. But they do feel like they should have taken better care while they were in this relationship. So for some of you guys, it's definitely health. That needs to be, something needs to be revamped. But then for some of you guys, this is definitely a, a relationship that has ended. And the past person the person that you ended this relationship with, whether it's your energy or their energy, yeah, this person is very upset that this is over and done with. For some of you guys, this could have definitely been a Scorpio. We have a lot of cups here. We definitely have a lot of cups here, so this could have definitely been a Scorpio for some of you guys. And they still want it. We have an Ace of Swords and an Ace of Wands. They still want it. We have a Knight of Cups here. They still want it, but... They, they know now. They know that it's over and done with. All right, let's keep this going. What's resilience? What's resilience for Virgo? Guys, thank you all for joining me. If, if this message resonates with you, hit that like button, okay? If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages. I did go yesterday and get us some new decks because I was like, okay, of course I like decks. They, I find them to be very pretty. <laughs> All right, this is for Virgo. All right, we have the three of wands. What are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? Then we have the five of wands something there's some stress here hmm who are you fighting with who were you fighting with you're waiting for someone hmm 
Hmm. Okay. We have the high priest. Somebody thinks very highly of themselves. And then we have the two of cups in the reverse. You are looking away from someone and we have the Empress. Yeah. Virgo, you're looking ahead. Some of you guys will be traveling. Some of you guys will be traveling afar. I'm definitely getting that in the energy. So you've built up a, yeah. You've ended a commitment. Our commitment is over and done with here. We have the high priestess and the two of cups, both in the reverse. You're sitting on your thorn, your throne. So sorry. And look how good you're looking like very seductive. You're looking good right now. And you don't, and it's like you're unfazed. I feel like, you know, there's a lot of pain and suffering here. And I, I feel a sense of healing. Like I feel a sense of. Like you, your self-esteem. You definitely have a self-esteem boost for some of you guys. You've kind of built a resilience. You, you kind of built a resilience to bullshit. That's definitely what I'm getting here. Like you're okay out with the old and with the new and look how you just look away from this person that loves you you're like nah whatever you're definitely like whatever look at it just unfazed and i just get a feeling that you're just done you've built a resilience to people's bullshit you are done and like it's almost like nobody look at this the empress at the bottom it's like nobody can't even touch you right now like you are uninterested altogether virgo i'm definitely getting that in your energy yeah i'm definitely getting that in your energy and you're waiting you're waiting for something though what is this what is virgo waiting for what is virgo waiting for Hmm. Six of Wands. But the Six of Wands came out in the reverse. Our Virgo could be tired waiting. Tired waiting, tired fight. Yeah. Tired of waiting, tired of fighting with someone. So now you're just like, nah. Yeah, you're over it. Somebody had you waiting for them. And you're done now. They come back. And when they come back, you're like, no, like even you, you're, you, you've upped your game. Your value it has totally changed. Yeah, you're done. Even when this person comes back to you, look, three of swords. Yeah, this, whoever this was that broke your heart, whoever this was that broke your heart. Yeah, you're done. You're done. They're going to come back, but you've built up a resilience. You're done with this person. Hmm. All right, what is this? What is surrender for Virgo? All right, Holy Spirit, show me. Show me what I need to see for Virgo. Okay. So we have temperance. We have the empress. Virgo, you've been you've been the empress a lot today. And <laughs> we have the ten of wands. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bottom of the deck, we have the emperor. Poof, he do not look happy. That emperor do not look happy, but let me tell you, this empress don't look happy either. We have two unhappy people, two burdensome people, and that's two people that are having to surrender. Hmm. We have temperance here. Yeah, look how it's just, you see how this side, it's magic. That's being, it's like almost like magic is being poured out. But look at this, it's, it's, it's done. Look, you see that sand coming out there, it's dry. 
it's dead it's gone but look how my my empress and my emperor looks this relationship is over and done these people the feelings they had they once had for each other is is over and done with yeah this ten of wands yeah moving on definitely moving on but i'm getting a feeling of moving on and not happy about moving on I'm definitely getting that feeling for both of you guys. Y'all moved on. Y'all separated. Because I feel like we saw this. That it was. It lingered for too long. The chaos. was Went on for too long. We definitely getting that in the energy. And it's over. And it's done with. But I don't get the energy that you guys are happy about it. I still feel like you know. There's still a sadness here. Definitely getting still a sadness here. Alright Holy Spirit. Show me what I need to see. What's the advice for Virgo? What's the advice for Virgo? Hmm. Some of you guys need to de detox. It says cleanse body and spirit. Yeah. Some of you guys, you need to cleanse your space. Cleanse your mind, body, and spirit. Some of you guys, you need to go on some type of a retreat. Some, some of you guys need to take a spiritual bath. Look, sun and stars. Get out, guys. Get out the house. Come out of hermit mode. That's definitely what I'm getting. Definitely what I'm getting. So you can welcome in more positive energy. More Welcome in the sun rays. and the, like, un, some, It's something about the stars and the sun. It just kind of rejuvenates your whole mind, mind, body, and soul. Some of you guys, you definitely need to detox. Some, some of you guys need to take a spiritual bath. That's what Spirit is saying. You need to let go of that old energy and bring in some new energy. All right, Virgo, this is where I will leave you guys until next time. Bye-bye.